Then you have to peel the canela, just go like that. See, I peel them all. That's the easiest way. So, what I will do is I'm going to peel them, salt them, seed them, fry them, and keep them in the freezer. There you go, already. After peeling, you can rinse them, and now we are going to seed them. You can cut little circles like that up to the point where you start seeing the seeds from both sides. Take the circles off, and now just open it up. And with your thumb, you can just push the seeds out. There you go. I should keep them on one side. Because I'm not mixing them with everything else. When we do that, we don't have any seeds in here. Now you can cut this in circles. See that? So easy now. Just cut up the rings. You just saw one seed escape, but that's okay. There you go. I'm going to repeat the same for all of them. Seed them and then cut them. This vegetable, we call it karela, but it's also known as bitter gourd. Bitter gourd, you can find them in the Asian market, Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi market. And for diabetic, this vegetable is a gift from heaven because of its bitterness. It's very popular among the diabetics. It's a very healthy choice a diabetic can make. Now I'm going to salt them and put them away for a little while to cut down on the bitterness. Now that I have seeded and uh, cut the vegetable, the karela, now I'm going to put a generous amount of salt on it. Shake it and let it sit for an hour or so. So then I will squeeze the, the karelas because the, the bitterness is going to come down, come out of the karelas with some liquid. And uh, then I will squeeze it out. After rubbing the salt over them, I'm going to leave my karelas, my bitter bird, in a colander that's sitting in a dish so I can show you if the water comes out the liquid, the, there will be a greenish liquid that's very bitter okay so now I rinse them you can see the little green water underneath okay and you have to squeeze them as hard as you can you will see some water liquid coming out okay as hard as you can squeeze the liquid out and keep repeating now they're all done and squeezed out so I'm going to fry them that's the next step in a couple of spoons of oil to let's say four uh, four or five tablespoons of cooking oil I'm not going to deep fry them but I still need some oil pat them dry while the oil is heating up make sure that there is no liquid moisture left on them of course there is you know excess excess moisture should be pat it out Add to the skillet, but half at a time. So we have half. That should be enough. Spread them out evenly. Because we're not, I'm not deep frying them. Usually, uh, what is done is 
people deep fry them but I just smother evenly put them in the pan so they can all get brown at the same time and there is another way to do it if you are on an oil restricted uh, diet or you, you don't like to use too much oil just take a spray this is olive oil spray spray in a baking sheet or in a pan you only put your carillas there just like that make sure they are evenly not, nothing is on top of each other and you can just spray a little more for the top that's it put them in 350 oven for uh, until they are golden brown so once they start turning dark and brown you can take them out those in here are changing color now another two minutes and they will be done Some people like them very dark, but for me, that's it. I'm going to take them out now and put them on a paper and uh, let them cool. Then I will put them in a container and put them in the freezer. And you could repeat the same with the baked ones once they are baked. Once they are goldish, brownish color, you take them out, let them cool down, and then you can freeze them. Freeze them or keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready. When you are ready, just take them out and mix them with the onions, potatoes, tomatoes, or minced. I usually make minced and I keep it there. So I take the karelas out, I take the minced out, and I just make a little bit of garlic and um, garlic, onion, and tomato sauce. And I put the mince in and I put the karelas in, and I'm done with the cooking in five minutes. So the point was for this video that a little bit of uh, preparation ahead of time, a little bit of effort can make us save a lot of time in the long run in Ramadan, especially in Ramadan because we don't want to spend too much time spending in front of the, standing in front of the, the stove or cooking, baking. So I'm going to make three or four of those container and one of these container is going to be enough for me to add to some other vegetable or meat and I will be done with it. There it is. Hope you like my time saving idea. Okay, they're still a little bit warm. I'm going to let them cool down completely. Subscribe to my channel if you like my ideas so I can keep bringing more little little videos to you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.